How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another Calibria Crystal Gardens video. Sorry, it's kind of late so I'm not gonna be able to shout that much. Okay, but anyway, this is a super long awaited video. Actually, I've done like a couple of runs of this. Uh, I've actually tried to make videos previously but it was just... Uh, I, I, I just couldn't get a video out because something was just not right. Okay, but now that I have uh, learned a lot more from my experiences here, I think I'm ready to make a video, okay? So for Infernal Legion, it's not it's not really a matter of oh it's the start of the week let's get it over and done with asap um it's very important that you take your time you take your time to work through each of the stages and make sure that you win it with as little casualties as possible uh, it's gonna it's gonna weigh in on you as you progress further to the abyss mode which is where i am right now so here looking at this at this lineup over here download this is very important okay so if you look at if the enemy has a download make sure you check his passive if he's running with saints prestige you don't want to bring uh, an aoe cleaving nuke team okay you don't want to bring your flame spirit you don't want to bring your succubus lich teams because uh as you can see if they take enough damage they are actually going to be in uh, shielded for one turn okay unless you are confident that you can kill the whole lineup in one shot uh if not this is going to be a problem so another thing is lich king do take note whether he's running Undead Soul or he's running the other passive, okay? So if he's running the other passive, uh, he actually brings his allies back for for two turns while Lich King is is, is dead, okay, he's in a dead state. So both of the Liches, uh, they are running Undead Soul, which is totally fine. Uh, so for this case, what we're going to do is we're not going to bring in a Cleave team, right? We're going to bring in a tanky team because we're going to have to tank through his initial burst. And then we are good to go. So I'm gonna bring my Iron Heart because he has defensive alert, perfect counter against uh, uh succubus, right? Okay, so I think I'm gonna bring in my Rock Golem just because I'm gonna get my shields up like crazy, uh, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so when you're up against an offensive comp like this, it's a very good idea to bring uh, a defensive lineup, okay? Because you're gonna be super well protected. So just look at that. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the Download. I'm just gonna uh, defeat the Liches last, I think, because they are not really gonna do anything. My heals should be way on point here. Another thing for you to, to take note of is, unlike the arena, you do not actually get the damage increase over time, okay? So if you're gonna encounter an enemy Dragoon, please make sure that you bring in uh, sufficient DPS, okay? Because if you're gonna encounter a, an enemy Dragoon, like I said, uh, is going to be a pain yes, if you, if you you're, if you're unable to kill her in time and oh my gosh am i so screwed i am so screwed uh let's see let's see let's see let's see i think i'm not gonna risk it for the stun the stun is only 50 percent uh i'm gonna lose my iron heart am i oh whoa that was lucky that was lucky huge luck right there okay so <laughs> oh my gosh that that actually like that got me for a while. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just get rid of the one of the liches. Especially since you know what, a dead lich doesn't actually get an attack buff. So it's actually a good idea to just get rid of them. That's it. Okay. So another last uh, another tip, right? I forgot to mention. If you're gonna run a, a tanky comp, like what I just did, you want to make sure that you use your heals at the end so that you know you top your team off, right? So like me, I'm very very topped off. Okay. So for this team. They are hoping to outspeed me with a 2-3-3. Three, three. That's not going to happen. Um, so as such, it's a very squishy team. There is not, There's no trick to this team unless check the Bone King if his passive is the one that revives himself because if he revives himself, he's going to stun your entire team. Okay, so I think we should be able to kill this in one go. Yep, we did. Bam. Alright, that's it. So that was an easy run. No tricks over there. Uh, next. Okay, yes, and then this is the next one. Uh, you want to take note of the Asura, okay? Is he on Unbroken Body or is he on Kong's Body? Because if he's on Unbroken Body, you want to be careful bringing in Cleave teams. Uh, because if you're going to, like, for example, Flame Spirit, okay, she's the best example. If you bring a Flame Spirit in, uh, chances are she, she's, not, she's going to kill herself facing an Unbroken Body Asura. So if that's the case, you might want to bring something else, okay? Something else that isn't a Cleave team. But I think... Uh, Typical tank team is gonna do well. They don't have any like AOE defense breaks. They have an they have a defense break over here. Right, yep, they do, and then they also have a defense break on this girl. Yes, okay, so they have two defense breakers. Uh 
they are gonna defense break my lawful types. I really want to bring in this, but I cannot guarantee that they are gonna punch her. So <laughs> they're gonna punch her. So I think I will bring Ironheart because uh, I think he's gonna be quite safe here, and he's gonna protect my team from getting defense broken, which is it's gonna be quite big, right? It's gonna be quite painful, especially against the Asura. Uh, so I think I'm gonna work on the Loki first. Huh? Okay. And they're gonna target my Ironheart. Yeah, I I know I know my destruction idol is way too fast. Okay, so I'm wasting the I'm wasting the buff. Yeah, we can just auto this. Get rid of the Loki first. And then we will work on the the other two on the right. It's easy to handle and Asura, but I just want to be careful as well. I, I, I don't want to waste any heals, especially when my Dragoon is being heal blocked. Because Asura's first skill is going to heal block my Dragoon. Uh, that's the whole reason why I have Selene as my leader, because of the resistance D, right? Alright, so that's it. That was a pretty easy run, I think. No hiccups over there. So number 12. Okay, so this guy... This is another one, Archmage, okay, so this is my arch nemesis for this entire run because of elemental control. At the start of battle, 30% chance to increase all enemy skill cooldowns by one turn, effect does not stack. Okay, so this is another thing for you to take note of. If you encounter an Archmage, make sure you check for elemental control, because if he does have elemental control, you're going to be screwed. Okay, you're going to be screwed big time if you bring in a cleave team. And another thing, Spider Queen, okay, take note if she's using Cobweb, Make sure that you're using the right team because sometimes they run caught web with binding web, which gives her a first turn stun. So take note of what you're bringing in, okay? Okay, because she's bringing in a uh, Spider Queen with an AoE, very simple. I'm just gonna bring in this to tank, right? She's she's gonna tank and then she's gonna give my whole team uh, an energy boost, okay? So with the energy boost, I'm gonna go first. Elemental control is not gonna be a problem because I think I'm just gonna run a tanky team. And because they have a Spider Queen and a Lich King as well, I'm just gonna oops, I'm just gonna run a Rock Golem. Makes a lot of sense. Um, I definitely have to kill the Cleopatra first, okay? And I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking maybe you know what? I can actually just reset her, right? I can just reset the Cleopatra. Sorry, not this. This. See, I'm gonna use my resist. Should I use resistance? No, I think I'm gonna go with HP. So with HP, uh, my Rock Golem is gonna be able to tank a lot more. My Rock Golem is currently at. Close to 80,000. So I think all is good. I should be able to tank this through really well. Uh, my Athena is at 56. It's not a lot, but it's gonna be enough. Yeah. Because I do have like two sets of prayer runes. Yeah, I do have two sets of prayer runes. I'm not sure whether we can actually beat the Cleopatra like before the rest kill kills me. But I, I, I forgot to see whether was she reset or not. So if she was reset, we can actually just... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was way too many. I'm screwed. Okay, perfect time. Okay, so this is a perfect time to, to bring in another strategy. If indeed you are losing a lineup because of bad RNG, uh, there is something you can do. If, if your team is losing, uh, you can actually force reset, all right? And then you actually get your team back. So this is a test for you guys, okay? So a couple of my units were killed, which is my Celine and my... I'm not sure who's the other one. Who's the other one? Who's the other one? I don't remember. Okay. Oh yeah, that was my Athena. So hopefully this time we don't get terrible RNG. But the thing is, if you do get terrible RNG, you can just force reset it, okay? At least until they fix this. You know, I don't mind if my Athena dies, to be honest. I, I hardly ever use her here. Okay, I'm just gonna auto from here. All right. 13. Okay, so this Archmage is not on his uh, elemental control. Which means that this team is extremely easy to beat. So we are just gonna just cleave it. Cleave the heck out of it. Yeah, we are definitely gonna go first. Yeah! Yeah! Boom, boom, boom. GG. Two more to go. Uh, yep, check the Asura. Unbroken body, so we are definitely not gonna bring in our cleave team. Cobweb as well, so this is very easy, right? Cobweb, unbroken body, definitely tank build. Definitely this. He, they have two heal blocks, which is a problem. This might sound crazy. Is this crazy? I feel like doing this. I feel like just melting them. I think that will work. Uh, my Yaksha is pretty crazy when it comes to burns. So it shouldn't be a problem. I, I don't really like to use uh, burns during PvP, but I think... Yep. 
I think she's gonna do a good job about it. So we're gonna go ahead and kill the Spider Queen because if she... Damn it. That was sick, dude. Because if she... Uh, if she goes crazy on her S1, it's game over, man. Okay, she's dead, right? No, wait. Three, three, that's not enough. It's not enough to kill her. I'm gonna get Selene to kill her instead, so that's fine. Uh, I think I'm just gonna burn. Right, burn that guy. Oh no, but I need the heal though. Ah, nice. Ouch, 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 ouch. See, that's the thing that I'm very afraid of. Slow, I, I have to slow that, that, um... The, the Draconian Princess on the other team. Because she's gonna heal block like crazy. Okay, and now I can- Oh my gosh! Rest in peace, young one. Yes, okay, nice. GG. I'm, I'm just willing to sacrifice my, my Dragoon. Yaksha is amazing. She's just absolutely amazing. Easy. It's unfortunate that we lost our precious Dragoon. One of my best rune units. Definitely one of my, one of my best rune units. We don't really need her moving forward. Because it's just one single fight, right? Okay, so it's an Asura with Kong's body. Kong's body is actually not really a problem. I think what we're going to do here is, because this is the last fight, we are just going to go YOLO. We're going to... Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, we're we going to do this. Sorry, not this. We're going to do this. Um, so this here's what's going to happen. I am going to... Because this is the last run, right? So it doesn't really matter if... It doesn't really matter if we... Uh, we, we die, we lose our units here. This is where you can spam units, okay? So as you can see, I'm just going for full counter. Uh, no reference to any game out there. And we are just gonna go ham and deal as much damage as much as possible, okay? So, damn, damn, damn. Wow, there's so many. Okay, this is so disgusting. This is so disgusting. Let's try to chop her down. I want her dead ASAP. Like, okay, it's not a problem that we are losing units here because another thing is, you see, when we get back into the fight, their HP is gonna be lowered, which means that right now I can bring in my other DPS, which is my cleave comp, right? So I'm just gonna just burst all my my entire squad. Just go ham on this last guy. So they don't have he he doesn't have unbroken body right, Asura. So yeah, my flame spirit is definitely gonna survive from here. Uh, I'm I'm gonna bank on a crit and kill the Asura. Nice and boost you up again crit for sure didn't get a didn't get a multi hit that's fine well if i do this i'm gonna kill myself because it's a multi hit regardless i should have done it but i was looking good i think we if you're lucky yeah we can actually no we can't we can't beat this guy tank 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 all right <laughs> oh wait why is his hp maxed yeah, okay, so I noticed that this happens sometimes, like, there is a bug that actually tops off their HP. Their HP is not supposed to be topped off, I'm not sure why it tops off, it's a bug. Um, did it happen in the the fight just before my Flame Spirit? Like, like was was their, was their Draconian Princess actually full HP? I, I don't really know, I need, to re I need to watch this again. But, yeah, so just take note that there is that one little bug over there, so there you go, that's how you beat. The whole 15 times 2 flaws, okay, so look at our rewards. We have energy, we have cats, we have more energy, more cats. Energy, skill, uh, summon, a rune. Oh, nice! Okay, it's it's unfortunately not, uh, not, not a, what do you call that, uh, it doesn't have any speed, right? But we can always reset it. Fortitude is quite garbage, so I'm gonna sell this. And wow, this is actually the first time I've collected everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crit damage defense attack hit. Uh, I'll just keep it. Nice. Very nice. So, okay, the rewards are not crazy, okay? The rewards are not... Oh, crit rate defense. What well, is actually a pretty good rune. Uh, the, the rewards are not really that necessary. It's just like a few hundred. It's not a big deal. See my 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 Kaliana is just 380 k It's like it's like whatever you know. So yeah, that's it for the Infernal Legion, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed this content, okay? Because I, I, I really put in a lot of thought into making this video. Uh, so here here are just like the, the tips and tricks for you to clear it. Uh, you have to take it seriously, okay? You really have to take this seriously. It's it's not like the arena. It's not that you can like just uh, if I lose then I just lose. No, if you lose, you have to wait an entire week, okay, just to get more rewards. And of course you're gonna miss out on a lot of the gems. 
that way. So that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, I will see you in the next video.